In this video, I'll be giving you the best guide for the Electromagnetic Awakening Party on the Black Ops 4 Zombies map, Alpha Omega. The elixirs I would recommend running are Temporal Gift, Anywhere But Here, Undead Man Walking for the Boss Fight, and lastly, Shopping Free to get the map opened up faster. For perks, I would select Stamina Up, Quick Revive, Dying Wish, and your modifier slot, Equip Winner's Whale. To round out the setup, I would run the Mog 12 Starting Weapon, the Path of Sorrow Specialist, and any of the grenades work fine, but the Wraith Fire is best. The first step of the main Easter egg is to turn on the power and activate the Pack a Punch. The power switch can be found in the garage of the Cul de Sac, and to activate the Pack a Punch, you need to make your way to the generator's room inside of the bunker. Interact with it to start a lockdown sequence, and once the lockdown is complete, you'll need to go back to the main road and look for houses that are emitting green gas. Four of the six houses will have this gas, and in order to get rid of it, you have to go to the back of the houses and turn the wheel to clean their generators. Once all four houses have been vented, the pack a punch will open up and you can talk to Rushmore. But before we activate Rushmore, there's a few things around the map we'll need to get that are either required or will provide aid for us during the main quest. The first is a zombie shield, which can be built in either the bedroom of the greenhouse or the bottom of the APD room. The first part of the shield can always be found in the operations house, either on the table next to the stairs, on the table on the second floor next to the blown out wall, or next to the filing cabinets in the garage. The second part can be found in the cul-de-sac, either by the car next to the garage of the greenhouse, leaning up against the yellow bus, or by the cars at the back of the main truck. The last part is at the bottom of the bunker, in the beds room, either on the shelf next to the generator's entrance, on the couch near the lounge entrance, or on the yellow couch to the left of the diner tunnel. Once you have all three parts, you can craft it at either buildable location. The other thing we'll need in order to complete the easter egg is the telepad, which can be built where you didn't build the shield. The first part for the telepad can be found inside of the greenhouse, either on the right side of the front door, in front of the barrier in the kitchen, or on the overhang above the front door. The second part will be somewhere in the generator's room, either between the barrels by the beds tunnel, in front of the broken arrow logo near the solitary tunnel, or on the main generator itself. The last part is located in the transfusion facility, either inside of the locker, next to the dentist chair, or in the backyard next to the boxes. Once you've got the shield and telepad built, head to operations to interact with Rushmore. After some dialogue, you'll be asked to find some access codes. The first code will be on the table to the left of Rushmore and is always 7626. The second code is in the APD interrogation room, either on one of the desks on the first floor or on the computer panel on the top floor. The third code is on the computer in the APD control room under a stack of papers. And the last code requires you to pick up a key off of the key holder that's on the wall in the solitary hallway. Take the key to the top of the yellow house and interact with the desk to reveal the last code. Once you have all four codes, input them into Rushmore in this order. The one that was in the operations first, the one that was inside of APD interrogation second, Second, the one from in front of the APD itself, and lastly, the one that you got for the key from the top of the yellow house. After all the codes are entered in the correct order, we can move on to the next step. Purchase the Galvin Knuckles from inside of the truck in the cul-de-sac and turn on subtitles. Next, make your way down to the bunker, and either in the diner, the beds, or the lounge, there will be a TV displaying static. You need to knife a zombie with the Galvin Knuckles in front of the TV to get it to turn on. I would also advise either having a notes page open or a notebook for this step. Once the TV turns on, it'll tell you a letter followed by four numbers. Write whatever the TV says down, and it will continue to say another four lines of letters and numbers. Each letter correlates with a house back at the main surface, and you can tell which letter belongs to which house by looking for the mailbox near the front of each house. The numbers the TV gave you are actually a time that you need to set a clock in each of the houses to that were listed off. This sounds super complicated, but it's really not. For example, if your TV said A, 1, 2, 0, 0, you would go to the A house and set the clock to 12 o'clock. If it says C, 0, 6, 4, 5, you go to the C house and turn the clock to 6.45. Make sure you set the houses to the correct times in the same order the TV gave them to you, and after all five have been set, go to the house that you didn't set a clock in. Interact with the clock that's inside of that house, and it will automatically set itself to a time that you have to convert into a four-digit code. So if your time is 4.30, your four-digit code would be 0430. Input your code into Rushmore to complete this step. But before we move on, you've unlocked a few things that will really help you to complete the rest of this Easter egg. On the second floor of the operations house, there will be a pack of punch Dragon Mark II waiting for you inside of the case at the top of the stairs, and inside of the prison or holding house, you can pick up a free pack of punched weapon from the storage locker. To start the next step, interact with Rushmore again and then head to the generator's area inside of the bunker. After a short while, a red Nova 6 crawler will appear on the map. You have to escort it from the generator's room and take it to the stairs of the transfusion facility. The crawler has 1 HP, so be extremely careful not to shoot it and kill it off because if you do, you have to progress another round to get another chance. This is very easily done if you stay close to the crawler because if you get too far away from it, it'll stop every once in a while and blast you with an attack so it slows down the escort. Once you're at the transfusion facility, it'll climb over the barrier to go upstairs and you can move on to the next step. Interact with Rushmore again and then go to the storage bunker. Interact with Sergeant ADAM and take him to the stairs of the bunker to the green backyard. You'll hear Marlton from the Victus crew behind the doorway and Sergeant ADAM will scare him into giving you an ether canister. Pick up the canister, take it to the transfusion facility, and place it on the shelf with the rest of the canisters to complete this step. Now go back to operations and once again interact with Rushmore. After his dialogue, place a telepad down on the back of the prisoner holding. Place the other telepad down inside of the garage of the cul-de-sac. Camp out inside of the garage until a lightning crawler spawns. You have to get him to shoot the panel on the wall next to the telepad with his electric shot. Doing so will open it up, revealing a server you can pick up. This next step
setup is on a very short timer, so pick up the server, use the telepad, and run back to the operations house to place it into the server on the wall near the stairs. I would pull out your Path of Sorrow so you run faster and don't fail this step, as well as purchasing stamina for the extra insurance. Once the server is placed, you can move on to the next step. Rushmore will instruct you to find three authorization codes hidden throughout the map. Each of these codes can be found by using a turned zombie in front of a painting that's glowing with green gas. The zombie will knock the painting off the wall, revealing one of the three codes. The locations for the paintings are inside of the beds area of the bunker, inside of the lounge area of the bunker, and the last painting is at the top of the stairs inside of the greenhouse. Once you have all the codes, input them into Rushmore and you can move on. Once again, interact with Rushmore and after some dialogue, the power around the map will go out. You'll have to restore it by checking boxes around the map and setting their handles to the right position. The first box is in the diner and needs to be facing upwards, the second is in the beds and needs to be facing upwards, the third is in the generators and needs to be facing up, the fourth is in the lounge and needs to be facing down, the fifth is in the storage area and needs to be facing down, and the last switches in the solitary area needs to be flipped downwards. If all of the switches are flipped correctly, the lights on the box will turn green and you can go to the main power switch in the cul-de-sac and activate it once again. Interact with Rushmore to move on to the next step, and now one of six different robo mannequins will be sparking around the map. You have to interact with the mannequin and it will do a lockdown sequence in the area that you're at. The first mannequin will either spawn in the green backyard or the yellow backyard. If it spawns in the green backyard, the second mannequin can be found inside of the lounge and the last one will be found inside of the transfusion facility. If your first one spawned in the yellow backyard, and the second one will be in the diner and the third one will be in the prisoner holding. After every holdout, the mannequin will disappear and you can pick up a piece of it that was left behind. After all three holdouts, you can go to the APD interrogation room and place the parts on the mannequin in the chair. After a long bit of dialogue, you'll have to find an orb and escort it back to the mannequin that you just built. The orb will either spawn at the top of the yellow house or outside of the barrier in the beds near the pack-a-punch machine. You can't damage the orb, so all you have to do is stand next to it while it flies around the map and make sure you don't die. After the orb returns to the mannequin, you can interact with Rushmore one last time to unlock the boss fight. At this point, I would recommend getting a fresh shield, maximum ammunition, and a fully pack-a-punched weapon. To start the boss fight, interact with the computers that are next to the APD. You'll then have to charge the APD up by getting mannequin kills next to the back left soul canister. Once it's charged up, the Avogadro will pop out of the pyramid and a nuke will be dropped on the map. After it goes off, the Avogadro will begin to chase you and you'll have to activate and get kills around four soul canisters in each of the four bunker locations. Activating a canister will cause the room to be blocked off while you charge it up with kills, so be careful of the Avogadro's attacks. You don't have to do anything with the Avogadro, just stay far away from him and get kills. After a canister is charged up, make your way to the next and on the way out of the room, you'll be gifted a max ammo and carpenter. The order I would activate and complete these canisters are the lounge, the diner, the storage, and lastly the beds. Once all four canisters have been filled up, go back to the APD control and wait until the Avogadro makes it into the room. If you have it, activate Undead Man Walking and then shoot the Avogadro with your Mark II. You want to push him back into the pyramid by using the bullets from your weapon. Once he gets to the back of the pyramids by the stairs, he'll be sucked into it and the door will seal itself off. Interact with the computers to send him to transit and the pyramid will once again open, revealing the elemental shard. Upon picking it up, the cutscene will play and you'll be rewarded with the Electromagnetic Awakening Party achievement. Leave a comment below if you found this guide useful and make sure to like and subscribe for more easy to follow easter egg tutorials. Also in the description is a playlist to other easter egg guides like this one.